Colonel Oswald Gracious, who is the head of this institution and also one of its finest students. The bishops who have and still call this place their home. All of the past rectors present here who have led and pioneered formation. The many alumni priests who have passed out from here year after year between 1960 to 2019. To all the sisters, the candidates for permanent diaconate and the lay students who have been the relative newcomers in the seminary as well as to our other guests who have come here to celebrate 60 years of this institution. I wish to tell you, welcome back and welcome home. This morning, as you walked through these halls, sat in the main chapel, past the library, entered this auditorium, I'm sure that you've been filled with a sense of nostalgia I'm sure that you are filled with a sentimental longing or a wistful affection for the time you have spent here in the past. Some things are perhaps changed. I know this auditorium has just been uh, newly done. But much of the rest is just exactly as you left it. And so on this inaugural day of the Diamond Jubilee of St. Pius X Seminary, on behalf of our rector, the staff, and the seminarians, once more I'd like to tell you, welcome back and welcome home. As we set our eyes on the past, we are here today also to look to the future. Over six decades ago, our God lighted up the way for Cardinal Valerian Gracious to buy this hilly land and transform it into a home. As we proceed then to the lighting of the lamp ceremony, let us hope that God will also light up the next 60 years of this formation house. I now invite His Eminence, Cardinal Oswald Gracious, as well as the former rectors of our seminary, including our current rector, Father Aniceto Pereira, to proceed towards the lamp. Our former rectors also include, who are present here, Bishop Bosco Pena, Father Caesar de Mello, Father Cleophus Fernandez, Father Harry Waz, and Bishop John Rodriguez. As the ceremony begins, my dear friends, let us spend a few moments in silence as we invite the Lord in our midst to the symbol of light. We pray that the Lord may bless us, may keep us, and let his light always shine upon us. Requesting our guests to kindly proceed back to their seats. My dear friends, every institution seeks to immortalize itself and what it stands for. And one of the ways in which they accomplish this is through a coat of arms more commonly known as a logo. Our original seminary logo was designed by Reverend Father T. Molina, a Jesuit, and it invited seminarians and priests to be ambassadors for Christ, just as St. Pius X desired. 
In order to commemorate and remember the past 60 years in a special way, the seminary has designed a new Diamond Jubilee logo. I now invite the Cardinal through the press of a button to unveil and inaugurate this logo. So as we see this logo, two things will perhaps stand out, the color blue and the obvious shape of the diamond. The blue reflects the color of the external structure of the seminary, and the diamond reflects the inner purity or virtues which one desires to see in every priest. Although strictly speaking, the diamond is a woman's best friend, a diamond logo can also be a seminarian's best friend. And as we look at it, and St. Pius' caption to restore all things in Christ, may we be reminded of the great pearl of great price because of whom we joined, because of whom we underwent formation, and because of whom we have been sent out on mission. Pearls and diamonds are not born, they are made, they are formed. And at the helm of that formation is a rector. His job is to make sure that what entered the seminary as rough stones passes out as finely cut diamonds. He has to mine out what is deep within each vocation and make it shine. Our seminary has been blessed with many rectors, some of whom are present here today. On their behalf, I now invite the present rector, Father Aniceto Pereira, to express his thoughts. Your eminence, Archbishops, bishops, fathers, sisters, staff and students of St. Pius, religious women, laypersons, well-wishers and my dear friends. The occasion of the Diamond Jubilee of St. Pius College is really a very exciting time for the church in Bombay. Since we know how much trouble was taken by those who have been here before us, to give us this beautiful gift. And so today we wish to cherish this gift and praise and thank God who has given it to us. Cherishing this gift on the occasion of the Diamond Jubilee also forces us to ensure that we who are here today match the commitment of the Founding Fathers in order to take it elegantly towards the future the platinum and the centenary. That is no easy task. We have relied on our patrons in Pius X to guide us with this motto, which we have made the theme of the Diamond Jubilee year, to restore all things in Christ. This is a tall order. And so our guiding light is the Ratio Fundamentalis Institutionis Sacerdotalis, a charter of formation for the Universal Church entitled The Gift of the Priestly Vocation, published in 2016. Let me draw the principal vision for a Diamond Jubilee year from just one paragraph in this document, which, though very innocuous, describes the brilliant vision contained in this document. It says in its introductory part number three, the formation of priests means following a singular journey of discipleship, which begins at baptism, is perfected through the other sacraments of Christian initiation, comes to be appreciated as the center of one's life at the beginning of seminary formation, and continues through the whole life. We are therefore invited to see the journey of seminary formation as having started at home and in our parishes, and so requiring to be linked seamlessly to the second phase when those who are called enter the seminary. And after being ordained, 
at the end of seminary formation, we are to ensure that the ordinati enter seamlessly once again into ministry as worthy disciples of the Divine Master. These two seamless thresholds are challenging to negotiate, but engage in them we must. May this theological symposium contribute by the very fact that we have resource persons from a variety of walks of life to understand how to connect the world from where vocations come to the nurturing cocoon of a seminary, to the wide universe in which we are all called to be missionary disciples.